And now, fans, the presentation of the award ceremony. Azaray Stevens. WNBA Basketball on 2K Sports. Thanks for joining us. I'm Blake Suniga here with Brian Banifatemi and Tim Schwartz. And now, here are your starting lineups as we get ready for the tip-off just moments away. And guys, what's your take right now on this Sky Team? Guys, how much weight should we put on these early season standings? Well, you have to give credit to the team at the top. They found the winning formula. Now it's just about maintaining success. Yeah, I agree. But there's plenty of time for the standings to change. Some of these units have gotten off to a slow start because they're still learning how to play with each other. Now here is Canada. at six. Ogumake. And a great assist by Jordan Canada, and that one falls in. As a guard, this is part of Canada's role, to notice when her teammates have wide open looks. Pass to McBuckets. Ball queen. Echo Ogumake with the rebound. And here's Agumake. Outside Canada. Over to the wing. Ogumake. Defended by Ball Queen. Over Ball Queen. Rebound Chicago. It's very dangerous to leave her open like that. Lucky break for the D that she missed it. And they get in the way. Looks like they were going for the alley oop. Not to be. To the middle. Oh, Gumake, that's Jeanette. good. Ogumike. A section of her game she has really worked on. Neka sees the floor well, sets others up. Going all in. That was the 2K drive, and it's well worth the second look. Nice take. Staying aggressive with this game still very much up in the air. Now here's Ball Queen. Now McBuckets. Pass to Walker. Just five on the clock. Here's Ball Queen. Here's McBuckets. Duchess grabs the miss. Outside Canada. Inside. Oh, Gumake, that's good. And this is the start they wanted. Come out and put some points up early, hitting three or four. Oh, for the Chicago Sky in 2021, they went 16 and 16 in the regular season. Of course, that didn't mean much. It didn't mean anything. They turned it on in the playoffs, capturing the WNBA title. 
here in the first with just under two and a half minutes played so far. And here's Nelson Adota. Outside Canada. Three-pointer. Can't hit that one. And Chicago will come the other way. And that 2021 Sky team winning their first championship. Well, as Tim mentioned, Chicago went 500. And part of that was just how odd the 2021 regular season was. With the break for the games, pauses for the virus. Once the Sky were at full strength, they went 8-2 and two in the playoffs, showing just how great they were. After defending the shot, she didn't quit on that play. Followed it straight to the glass for the rebound. And stolen by Walker. Pass to Ball Queen. Ogumake brings the double team. Now here's Shorty. Ball Queen. Six to shoot. Now here is McBuckets. She's covered by Ogumake. And the basket by Ball Queen. Very well done. Confident and composed as always. Sparks leading. Outside Canada. Pass to Agumake. Shock up two right there. A really difficult shot. Agumake with great concentration, just totally locked in offensively. And here's McBuckets. McBuckets the screen. Here's Shorty. She's guarded closely. Down low. It's stolen. Here's Duchess. She hasn't scored yet. That, I'm sure, will change. Pass to Canada. Ogumake. Down to five on the shot clock. Here's Canada. The three... Shot by Nelson Adota, no good. And the whistle blows. It's going to be on Agumake. That is her first, first, first foul of the game. First. first team foul. Now here's Ball Queen. Guarded by Canada. The left wing. And she lobs up toward the rim. We've just seen him make mistakes on back-to-back -back trips. Both those turnovers could have been easily avoided if they had just played smart basketball. Absolutely, Brian. They need to play smarter. They've got to get a tighter handle on the ball. Now here is Canada. Six on the shot clock. Pass to Duchess. Misses the three. Chicago trailing here to the inside. McBuckets. And there's the whistle. Foul part on the shot and we'll go to the line. Well, you look at the all-time numbers and the Sparks by far have the most wins out of any WNBA team. They have really set the precedent as the on-court standard of the league. And the first one at the line is good. Well, there's been so much success in L.A. for the Sparks. Why do you think that is, Tim? Let's keep it simple. I mean, when you look at their history, Los Angeles has had some of the greatest players ever. MVPs like Candace Parker, Neka Agumake. Having talent like that, it'll win you lots of games. And she makes both free throws. Now the Sparks with it. Sykes outside. Nelson Adota. Ball queen with the rebound. Pass to Vandersloot. Now here is McBuckets. McBuckets the screen. Shot clock at six. Vandersloot for three. Here's Ball Queen. And the layup's good off the glass. She's got a great read of where that miss is going, and that enabled her to be the first player to it 
and get the foot back. Now here is Sykes. Pass to Nelson Adota. Shoots over Shorty. Nelson Adota with the bucket. This is just unselfish basketball at its finest. You just know that Sykes' teammates appreciate her willingness to share the wealth. Vandersloot with it. She's covered by Tolliver. And here's McBuckets. And it's good. Two points. Textbook. Nice pass. Nice catch. Nice shot. Pass to Duchess. Nelson Adota. Defended by Ball Queen. Basket counts. What a plus it is to get those looks in the paint. Vandersloot with it. Still getting warmed up offensively. No buckets yet in the game for her. Nelson Adota with the rebound. Such tough defense there against one of the better finishers in the game. To the right side. Now here's Tolliver. D right on her. To the paint. And that one goes in as she's fouled. It'll be three points if she can convert the free throw. Well, there's just something special about coming home. And just ask Candace Parker. After spending her entire career in Los Angeles, Parker joined her hometown team, the Chicago Sky, in 2021. Candace Parker returning to the Windy City, a special place in her heart. Now the future Hall of Famer first was put on the map in high school. Naperville Central, just about an hour out of Chicago. Candace said she was so excited to play in front of family and friends in Chi-Town. And the Sky, so thrilled to have her back home. Now here is Sykes. No scoring yet from her, but that's likely to change. Nelson Adota. And it's good. Assisting on the play was Brittany Sykes. They're finding lanes to the hoop every time down. Five buckets in a row from the paint. And on the flip side, the defenders have to show more fight on the interior. Or at least some fight. Here's Vandersloot. On the wing, Kalia Copper. To the middle uses the glass to finish the layup. It's easy to see Copper's phenomenal fundamentals. When she sees a wide open shooter, she makes sure they get the ball. Pass to Nelson Adota. Over Parker. The shot by Nelson Adota, no good. That's one she knows she should have drained. Man, they've been looking at a sink offensively. They need a bucket in a big way here to regain some confidence. Vandersloot with it. Guarded now by Carter. Parker lays it up and banks it in. The experience of Parker, it makes her tough near the hoop. She just figures out ways to score. Sykes outside. Samuelson. Misama uncovering. Back to Sykes. Oliver. Nice move. Off to a good start as she hits her first shot attempt. So far, so good for them at the offensive end in the early going. Their field goal percentage is terrific. Exactly the start they were hoping for. Now here's Quigley. She hasn't yet put up any points in this one. Seven second difference between the shot clock and the game clock. Here's Samuelson. It's rebounded by Quigley. And she doesn't miss many of those, especially with the defender not in the best of positions. Outside, Parker. And so she earns a trip to the line. The official saw the contact, and she'll shoot two. Well, she's won national championships in college, gold medals, but Parker finally got her first WNBA title in 2016, leading the L.A. Sparks, really completing her trophy mantle.
The first free throw is good. Both shots good from the strike. From deep three-point range, and that concludes the first quarter of play. The Sparks on top, up four. And we'll get things started in the second quarter when we return. Second about to get underway. And let's quickly break down the game we've seen from the Sparks. Guys? Quite simply, a great display of team basketball, Brian. This is five players working as a unit. Just beautiful team basketball on display. The Sky Trail. Mesa on outside. Pass to Parker. Down low. It's stolen by Ogumake. Carter with it. The basket good off the assist from Neko Ogumake. I love watching Kennedy Carter work her way inside. She is gifted at probing and finding ways to shoot. Misa on outside. Out to the wing. Pass to Parker. Five on the clock. Laid in with a nice touch off the glass. Took advantage of some shoddy D there. They got to at least get a finger on her. You name it in the women's game, Candace Parker has won it. Titles in college, the WNBA, the games. I mean, MVP All-Star Game. Parker, really one of the most decorated players ever. And so it's Chicago with it. Six-point game. Outside quickly. Pass to Misamon. Over Tolliver. And misses it off the right side of the rim. And the one award that had escaped Candace Parker was Defensive Player of the Year. Of course, but then Parker got that one as well. As she won Defensive Player of the Year back in 2020, it just proves that Parker is still one of the best in the game. Ogumake, that shot is off. Comes up empty for the second time this game, four for six. Outside quickly. Let's go with a three. Chicago the rebound. Now here's Ball Queen. Wyatt so far offensively searching for first points of the game. From deep. Shot by Quigley, no good. The Sparks with the lead. Now Carter. Shot from 12. Candace Parker pulls it in. And we're just over two and a half minutes into the second period. Shot touch on both ends with that pretty alley. -oop. I've got to say, when you took the pass, I didn't know where it was going. Yeah, neither did the defense, <laughs> clearly. Pass to Carter. Back to Tolliver. The three ball. Her shot is good, making her a perfect two for two from the floor. Only needing an inch of daylight to get the shot off. Tolliver has a quick, effective release. Now here's Ball Queen. Pass to Quigley. The pick by Ball Queen. Inside. 
And she drops in the layup off glass. Another bucket in the paint. That's just something they have not been able to stop today. And if they want to win this game, they got to figure out how to stop it. You know, Brian, I think it's time to switch things up on D. What they've got going on right now is not getting it done. Now here is Agumake. Eight points for her. Green by Agumake. Christy Tolliver attacking. Ball clean with the rebound. To the inside. Duchess with the steal. Ogumake up top. Outside Carter. Tolliver. Ball's knocked loose. Parker inside. Ogumake's there. Wasted no time on that one. They're beginning to just fall apart defensively, especially on the interior. Yeah, they're crumbling like a cookie right now, and that's four straight field goals they've allowed from within touching distance of the rim. Timeout called the Sparks. Deciding to change it up. <laughs> to the left side wing. And it's going to be a three second call. In three seconds. Chicago ball. certainly been looking locked in offensively. They sure have, staying aggressive and playing in control. Out to the right wing. Now here's Walker. Duchess defending. Rebound by the Sparks. Canada defended by Ball Jordan. Canada, Canada with the bucket. You can't Number let three. Canada get a, a look close to the rim. This is too easy for a great touch. Now here's Ball Queen. Guarded by Canada. It's stolen by Ogumake. Pass to Canada. Six to shoot. Let's it go from 11. It's not going to go for her. And Chicago will come the other way. Now McBuckets. And here's Shorty. Looking for her first basket still in this one. Ball queen. To the middle. Pass to McBuckets. That's in. Coming off an assist from Candace Parker. Talk about reading the floor. Parker's teammates feed off her energy as a playmaker. Kind of like the Lakers in the NBA. The Sparks are seen as the glamour franchise of the WNBA. And for good reason. I mean, first of all, come on. Let's not lie. Who doesn't want to live in L.A.? Now Ogumake. 
over McBuckets. And she tries off the glass, but it's no good. Chicago trailing here. Ball clean. Guarded by Canada. Here's Ball Queen. Walker with it. Duchess with the steal. Born in Canada drives in. Duchess. Here's Ogumake. And there's two points. Work on the glass, paying off that time. She has shot the ball exceptionally well as they've built this lead for themselves. Pass to Parker. Shorty. Ball queen with the ball. Throws it up high. You simply cannot say enough about the quarter she's having. I mean, every one of her attempts has gone down. And the Sparks call time here. Canada. Jake, sir. A special move before the shot. Fighting through the trees. That was a spectacular move from Canada. Pass to Walker. Brown grabs the board. The Sparks with the lead. Two minutes. Two minutes. Two minutes. Canada. Vandersloot defending. Now Sykes. She's been patient so far. Nothing yet on the scoreboard. They're looking for a way to score here. Yeah, they've had a tough time taking the lid off. they got to score. She gets that one. He's moving it around. Eight of the last ten points coming off the six. Nothing makes a coach happier than a display of pure selfless teamwork. Absolutely. Now here's Brown. A three-pointer, no good. You can tell she thought that triple was going to fall. She's just shaking her head after that miss. And two free throws coming up as she misses that one. Drawing the whistle on a lot of contact there. First team foul. At the line from your Chicago Sky. Number 31. Taking two shots. Take a break, take a break. Two shots. No good on the free throw. An original WNBA team going back to the inaugural 1997 season. The Los Angeles Sparks have been a pillar in the league. He hits the second from the line. 
And as Brian said, this Los Angeles franchise is so important to the league. Well, they've won lots of games, hung banners, developed some stars, and they've never moved or been rebranded since 1997. The Sparks have been there every step of the way. Got the D worried about her inside and kicked it out for the open jump shot. Nice pass. And here is Vandersloot. Down low. And so it looks like the Sky will retain possession here. Here's McBuckets. She's got nine. Shot clock at five. Pass to Walker. That's good. And it's Candace Parker with the assist. A remarkable passer for her size. Parker's good eyes keep the defense guessing. Sykes outside. Now Samuelson. Falls through. She's now made two out of four. That pass led her so perfectly, she didn't even have to break stride. Vandersloot with it. Pass to Parker. McBuckets. Nice silky finish on the alley-oop from the stupendous feet. That sequence couldn't have been executed any better. The lob, the slam, a work of art. I hope there's a genie here, because if there is, I wish, I wish really badly that we get to see a few more of those. And so it's a close game as we wrap up the first half of play. Sparks ahead, up two. And we'll be back for the second half following the break. Keep it right here on 2K Sports. been a back and forth game with no ground given through the first half third quarter getting started here what can you say Parker just an impressive effort here today she played a very smart game offensively looking for and finding gaps for defense and always looking for the best shot possible yeah the way she played that first half well that's exactly what we're talking about when we talk about being efficient on offense the start of the second half getting underway. Both teams battling hard through the first two quarters. Pass to McBuckets. McBuckets the screen. Now here's Shorty. She's covered by Ogumake. To the paint. Here's ball clean. Foul call that time on the way up. First team Put a play in attack mode and get inside. And the defense gets their money's worth on that foul. Stopping the layup and not giving up the and one. And she knocks down the first one. Oh, we talk about all-time WNBA playoff runs. You have to talk about the 2014 Chicago Sky. They were the last team in, winning a tiebreaker just to get into the tournament. And it's tied up with that one. 
And talking about that 2014 Sky team, they went 15 and 19 in the regular season. But Chicago really turned it on in the playoffs, led by players like Sylvia Fowles, Elena Deladon, Courtney Vandersloot. Chicago won two winner take all games, getting all the way to the WNBA Finals. This game has been very close in a lot of areas, but rebounding is one thing that's gone in their favor. Yeah, effort and determination on the glass, they, they really can compensate for a lot of deficiencies. Now here's Shorty. She hasn't yet put up any points in this one. Pass the ball, Queen. For the lead. Nelson Adota with the rebound. Oh, McKay outside. Now Nelson Adota. Outside Canada. And she's going for the oop here. Imagine how much fun it would be to play with Jordan Canada as your point guard. Always looking to get others involved first. A true throwback old school one. McBucket's the screen. Now here's Shorty. She's covered by Ogumake. Inside. Got a piece of it. It's stolen by Shanae Ogumake. Here's Canada. Defended by Ball Queen. Ogumake outside. Pass to Nelson Adota. The tray. The shot. No good. Sky trail. Here's Ball Queen. Shorty. She's covered by Ogumake. That's her fourth foul, and I'm sure she picked it up a little earlier than she would have liked. Fourth personal foul. Second team foul. Substitution for the Sparks. Christy Tolliver. Now here's Ball Queen. Guarded closely. To the inside. And stolen by McBuckets. A little over two and a half minutes off the clock in this final half of play. Up top, Shorty. Ball queen. Pass to Walker. Clock at six. McBuckets. She's covered by Ogumake. Here's Shorty. Chance there to take the lead. Missing. The Sparks with the lead. Outside, Tolliver. On the wing, Neko Gumake. Nelson Adota. Now here's Duchess. No scoring yet from her, but that's likely to change. And she lobs it up. Oh, and a nice defensive play to disrupt the alley-oop. Ogumake misses off the left iron. Shooting 20% to start the second half doesn't bode well for how this will play out for them. Right wing. Now Walker. Pass to McBuckets. Shorty. She's covered by Tolliver. Trying to get back on track. McBuckets with the bucket. And that ties it up. And they finally fought all the way back to even the score. We've got a whole new ball game. Yeah, and they've got all the momentum in the world right now after that comeback. So you just have to like their chances the rest of the way. Perfect screen there. Set her up with a terrific look. Yeah, but that's a bad job by the defender to not fight through that screen. To you want to see more effort there. Timeout Fire. called the sky.
Queen. Still getting warmed up offensively. No buckets yet in the game for her. Outside Quigley. Six on the shot clock. Shoots over Duchess. And once again, off the mark by Chicago. It just hasn't been an ideal start to the second half. They've missed three of their first four. In a 2021 survey of WNBA GMs, Allie Quigley was the clear winner for best shooter. Quigley getting more than half the votes. Ogumake hits in and good for her six field goal yes. in 10 attempts. Another hoop from Ogumake. You want to kind of take it to the next level. Offensive rating. It's a new age stat, basically how much your team scores while you're on the court. Ogumake has one of the best ratings in WNBA history. Quigley gets the bucket. Allie Quigley has been great in this league for so long. She is extremely well respected by her peers. Well, when you look back, in Allie Quigley's first five years in the league, she averaged less than three points per game. But she continued to work on her craft, and eventually, she turned into one of the premier three-point shooters in the league. Well, so many WNBA players, they either had parents who played college ball or pro ball. But Christy Tolliver's dad, George, was involved in the NBA in a different way. He was actually a ref. First one falls for her. And with her dad being an NBA referee, Christy Tolliver grew up around the game. Christy going to NBA games her dad worked, especially those in Washington. Her father also an international ref, so Christy remembers seeing those incredible USA teams play. And that's good as she hits both shots. Well, the 2021 WNBA Finals were a bit of a shocker. The Sky came in as underdogs against the Mercury, but nevertheless, Chicago won the series 3-1 with a pair of comfortable wins. Now here's Vandersloot. Shoots on the block, and that one good. Reads the defense so well. If you make a mistake in the pick and roll, Vandersloot will exploit it. Outside Carter. Ogumake misses off the right iron. And man, what a special final series for the 2021 Chicago Sky. In a series of stars, Kalia Copper stole the show, winning finals MVP. Courtney Vandersloot at least 10 assists in every game. And of course, Candace Parker with the storybook ending, winning it all with her hometown team. The first pro basketball title in Chicago since MJ and the Bulls back in 1998. Now here's Ball Queen. Nine points in the game. Quigley with it. Now by Carter. And plenty of contact on the shot, so the two free throws coming up. I like when Allie Quigley takes initiative and looks to score, getting the defense's attention in the process. It's her first trip to the line. And she makes the first. Well, this Los Angeles team, they have an identity. There's an alert of the Sparks. They always play a fun style of basketball, and they always have a superstar. Second free throw, no good. Over the years, the Sparks have been the team to watch. And it's not just the All-Stars. There's something about basketball in L.A. I think it just brings out creativity, a free-flowing offense, just qualities that fans love to watch. Now here's Quigley. Pass to Misaman. Ball clean with the ball. She's covered by Ogumake. Ball clean with the ball. Ogumake's there. Here's Quigley. That one falls. Just gutting through the physical coverage. Quigley's ability to score in tough situations is admirable. Here's Tolliver. Nine points in the game. And she's good on the three ball. 
I can't believe it. They cannot forget about her like that. She's not going to miss that open look. Misa on outside. Vandersloot. Basket good. They're forcing the ball inside, and it's working like a charm. No luck needed. It is working for sure. Five of their last six field goals, but they've come from inside the paint. Pass to Sykes. Oliver. There's the three. They grab their own miss. Oh, Gumake, that's good. That's a way to pick up your teammates. And when Gumake puts in a miss, it's almost like bonus points for your team. Misam on outside. Vandersloot. Over Tolliver. Vandersloot, no good. The Sparks with the lead. Pass to Tolliver. And here is Samuelson. Good. And Christy Tolliver gets the assist. One of the purest strokes in the game. Samuelson, a feared player from beyond the arc. Outside quickly. Now ball queen. Left side Parker. It's in. Basket number six for her thus far. She has missed only two shots from the floor. You can't question Parker's effort level on the glass. She loves beating opponents to the ball. Now here is Sykes. Wyatt so far offensively searching for her first points of the game. Hey! And lots of contact there. Missing the shot and will shoot two at the line. It's going to go on Candace Parker. Well, Brittany Sykes is a rare breed in the current WNBA. She's a 5'9 shooting guard who barely takes any threes and rather relies more on the mid-range. Two shots. The first one falls after tearing her ACL twice in college. Some may have quit, not Brittany Sykes, who ended up leading her school to a national title game. And she makes the first, but misses the second. Sky trail. Come on, outside. Pass to Parker. Fades away. It falls for her seventh bucket of the contest. She's seven to nine today. Well, from this area, it's almost a layup for Parker, an accurate shooter who uses all parts of the floor. Now Nelson Adota. to Canada to the middle stolen by ball queen pass to Vandersloot cans it from downtown if Vandersloot gets a look she likes she lets it rip I love her quick decision making it's still anybody's game as we reach the end of three Parks ahead leading by a point and when we return we'll get the fourth quarter rolling here on 2k sports well she's always the favorite to bag this honor these kind of feeds are her bread and butter well you can't run away from the dna when she's running the show, she makes sweet highlight reel plays, night in and night out. We welcome you back to what has been a good one here as we get into the fourth quarter. Sykes outside. Back to Canada. Pass to Duchess. Ogumake. She's covered by McBuckets. Sights, no good. Vandersloot with it. 
Make buckets the screen. Attacking, so she gets the whistle. Contact on the way up. Two shots. It's going to go on McBuckets. On the drive, Sykes can be so fast. That puts pressure on the defense, and then they end up fouling her. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. And the first one drops. So she gets them both. They're working hard to get inside and draw contact a little more than they did in the first half, Tim. You know, and defensively, if you're trying to battle back, you can't keep sending them to the line. Pass to Ball Queen. Down low, Parker gets it to go for bucket number eight. She's taken just 10 shots. Four of their last five makes came off a high-quality shot inside. And that's right out of the textbook. They are having their way down low right now. Here's Nelson Adota. Ogumake right side. Over McBuckets. And it's Ogumake missing. A little over a minute and a half of the fourth quarter gone now. Pass to Ball Queen. Now here's Parker. Parker with the screen. Now here's Shorty. She's covered by Ogumake. To take the lead. Rebound by the Sparks. Sykes outside. Canada. And Candace Parker gets the whistle that time. That's foul Second number two for her. Second team foul. Into the lineup for Los Angeles. Shanae Okumike. Christy Tolliver. <laughs> to the paint. And Okumike gets it to go. Yeah, and if you're open, Tolliver will find you. But it's not really a matter of if, but when. Now that is nice. Glad we got a chance to check out that sweet drive one more time. Oh, a drive like this can really shift the entire outcome of a close game. Pass to Ball Queen. McBuckets. She's covered by Ogumake. That's McBuckets. That one is good again. She is six for eight from the floor with that basket. She's having one of those days where if she takes it, she makes it. Inside, it's stolen by Ball Queen. And here we go, the sky fast break. And a foul on the shot, she'll go to the strike for two. First personal foul, teams first. First team foul. Shooting for Chicago. Number 28, taking two shots. And the free throw is good, now leading by one. Third minute of action now, gone here in the fourth quarter of this one. Outside, Tolliver. To the wing on the left, just five to shoot. Duchess. Second chance shot. 
And it's Ogumake getting it to go. In the paint, Shanae Ogumake might be the player you, you most want the ball. She just finds ways to score. Pass to Parker. Shorty. We played just over three and a half minutes now in this fourth quarter. Here's McBuckets. She's covered by Ogumake. Outside Tolliver. And here's Agumake. Outside Tolliver. The baseline J. Ogumake, that's good. Letting herself be available off the pick. Agumake is one of the best rollers in the WNBA. Pass to McBuckets. To the inside. Tipped. Stolen by Christy Tolliver. Ogumake outside. To the middle. Here's Nelson Adota. Good on the shot. How many times have you seen a possession like that from them today? Such a pretty pass. I don't have an exact number for you, but I can tell you it's... We've seen it a lot. Okay, let's just say that. Strictly using assists as the measuring stick, they've been by far the better team. Now here is McBuckets. Not a lot of room. So the whistle blows on the shot. Two free throws for the contact there. Second team foul. At the line for your Chicago Sky. Farley. Two shots. First free throw is good. That's also good, so she hits them both. The Sparks leading. Outside Tolliver. Pass to Agumake. Over McBuckets. Another one falls for the Sparks. They're passing the ball very crisply right now. Their last three buckets have come by way of an assist. Now McBuckets. McBuckets the screen. Now here's Shorty. She's covered by Ogumake. Shot clock at six. Stolen away. Nice job to interrupt the alley-oop attempt right there. Down low. Now here's Tolliver. Defense is right there. Over to the left wing. Fires for three. Kept alive. Ogumake. Another one Today, falls Ogumake. for the Sparks. That's a great play on the glass. And for her, it's what really we expect from her. All her second chance points do not come by accident. Now here's Shorty. She's covered by Ogumake. Pass to Ball Queen. McBuckets. Now here's Duchess. Shanae Ogumake again. She has put her foot on the gas pedal this quarter. She's doing a tremendous job leading their offense. McBuckets with it. Now Shorty. Pass to Ball Queen. To the middle. Blocked by Shanae Ogumake. I wouldn't test her. Ogumake can make even the best offensive players look helpless. Here's Nelson Adota. Duchess guarded by Walker. Outside Tolliver. Now Ogumake. And here's Nelson Adota. Three pointer. Missed it. Five for 11 shooting from the field for her. 
to the wing, right side. Here's McBuckets. And she can't stop this drought. Another miss. Her shooting numbers slip in this quarter. Here's Duchess. And she Number uses three. the glass on the yes. layup. Nice touch near the hoop. Okay. And here's ball queen. Time out, time out. And they're time out, looking for ball. some kind of spark here. Yeah, cold stretch offensively. They need a bucket. Now a timeout called by Chicago. It's both teams making substitutions here. Perfect on an alley -oop. Got a piece of it. Shorty with it. Picked up by Canada. Pass to Walker. Parker inside. And the layup is good. Keep getting it to Parker. It can make things easy on a coach. Has to be easy in the huddle. Get it to Candace. Outside Canada. Ogumake, soft touch off the glass. Chicago with the ball. They trail by 11. Pass to Ball Queen. Back to Parker. For the basket for her 10th mate. 10 for 12, that's 82%. You know, she's done a ton to help this team, but uh, if they're going to come back, she needs to do even more. Now Nelson Adota. Now here is Agumake. Parker defending. And that one's good. Ogumake. Yeah, always aware of what's happening on the court. Agumake keeps her teammates engaged. Pass to Ball Queen. Terrific assist and a nice finish. Just a solid play all around. Perfect screen there. Set her up to a terrific look. Yeah, but that's a bad job by the defender to not fight through that screen to contest. You want to see more effort there. Here's Ogumake. The shot, no good. Some solid defense from Candace Parker. Walker down low. Duchess defending. Walker, this shot is good. About seven seconds separating the shot and game clock. And the ball out of play, the sky will have it. Chicago There's no excuse for that turnover. That's just a straightforward pass gone wrong. Time called here. The sky decide to talk it over.
Shot and game clock separated by five. Pass to Copper from deep. Nelson Adota with the rebound. Now the Sparks with it. And they can just sit on the ball here. Enjoy it. They burn the win. No doubt. Here's Canada. And so the Sparks take the win. That's the A truly game. gutsy performance away from home. It really was. And this one was hanging in the balance late. And they showed just what tough-minded squad they can be. That'll do it for our broadcast, everyone.